The health implications for exposure to dust come from five main areas. The first is house dust mites, which thrive in high humidity environments that moistens their major food source, human skin particles. They excrete a range of highly allergenic proteins that have been identified both as a causal mechanism in the development of asthma and as irritants likely to trigger and exacerbate asthmatic symptoms. The majority of dust reservoirs in dwellings can contain house dust mite allergen levels above the WHO sensitization threshold of 2 micrograms in fine dust. Up to 56% of beds can contain concentrations known to cause an immediate acute reaction. It is estimated that the number of people with asthma will grow by more than 100 million by 2025. Dust mites are problems because they, they are known to affect uh, people's uh, breathing problems, uh, like asthma and so on. If they exist at high level in the home, then the risk of asthma will increase. The second is exposure to microbial taxa in household dust, which can have both negative and positive impacts on human health. Negative impacts include triggers of allergies and asthma. The positive include reduction in incidence of allergies and autoimmune disorders. The third is food proteins, particularly peanut protein, as well as milk, egg and fish. Studies have been conducted to see what the impact is on human health. Peanut protein in house dust has been identified as a plausible route to peanut sensitization in infants and could possibly contribute to the prevalence of peanut allergies in children. Further to that, one study found that the levels of egg and milk protein in house dust were high enough to elicit an allergy response in patients with egg and milk allergies. The fourth is particulate matter and indoor air quality, which is associated with cardiovascular disease. Numerous studies indicate that these may affect occupant health, even at very low values, making it very difficult to set a threshold concentration below which there are no effects on human health. The fifth is chemicals, such as polybrominated biphenyl ethers, which have serious consequences for children's neurodevelopment, with negative consequences for reading skills and is associated with behavioural problems. Organophosphorus flame retardants and phthalates are known environmental contaminants present in house dust and can inhibit testosterone synthesis with alterations in hormone levels and decrease sperm counts. Having good air quality is important for our health, not, not just for uh, things like asthma and cardiovascular disease, but also just for our general well-being as well. Poor indoor air quality, such as high particulate matter or carbon monoxide concentrations can have consequences for headaches, uh, tiredness. Poor indoor air quality can trigger those kind of issues as well. Of course, particulate matters, PMs, uh, are significant, especially the fine ones, PM 2.5. Below this size of particles, they tend to affect health more than others because as they are breathed into the lung, these ultrafine particles actually find their way into the bloodstream. So if they, are, uh, if they contain some chemicals, then that will affect the blood. 